Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my auction watch list. Uh, this is for an auction that's ending uh, January 2024 and uh, it's just coming up in a couple of days and uh, there's lots of really great things on here. I actually saved 31 items but um, four of those items are not for me. They're actually for my daughter um, and so we're going to start here with uh, lot number 20 and we'll move on from there. All right, so let's see if I put them in order. Maybe I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. So our first one is a uh, La Crusette. It's a discontinued uh, cast iron roasting pan with the lid. And I believe, I'm not sure, it's got a lid, but I think you can, it looks like you can roast in both sides of them, So that, which is pretty cool. So that's the uh, La Crusette. It's blue. It's used, those things usually hold their value you know, this may be worth, you know, fifty, sixty dollars. Um, it's hard to say. Here's some uh, beer steins that I uh, I thought were just interesting. Uh, they're not particularly old, but they all have like an American theme to them. Uh, Colonial army kind of looking things here. So those are some beer steins, and uh, the bid on them right now is four dollars. So. You know, if I get them for about a dollar each, that's that's a could be a really good deal. I I sell a fair number of beer steins. Uh, this is I'm always a sucker for these things. I I did really well from this auctioneer last time. It's a uh, it's just a mystery box. It's 16 by 10 by 13 inches, and I found all sorts of great stuff in the last one. I mean, some of it was just eh, you know you just had it you know you either use it yourself or donate it or something, but um, I usually find some good stuff in there, and you know they always guarantee that the value is going to be at least. What you're paying for it so right now the minimum bid is seven dollars i suspect that's going to go higher i'm not the only one who's uh, really enjoys getting a nice mystery box so we will see what happens hopefully I get that one and here's just kind of a cool 1970s folding knife uh it doesn't have a, a brand on it but you see this it looks like it's pretty nicely done it's got a you know it might be something you might put in a keychain or something like that so uh I'll, I'll see how that goes. I usually do really well with knives, so I always on on the lookout for those. Uh, this one it just says vintage spectacles, no maker's mark. It seems to me that these are likely um, gold or gold filled. I don't really know. I'll have to test it when I, when I get it home. But uh, they can go. I mean, I saw them selling for one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars for some of them. So hopefully those will sell well. Here's a, just some really cool uh, vintage cigarette boxes. Uh, with some, This one's got a matching ashtray. There's a Zippo lighter, which has been monogrammed. And it's surprising that the monogramming part doesn't really bother most people. You know, if they just like it and it just happens to have someone else's initials on it, yeah, that's okay with them. And then here's, uh, it's, these are some Smith & Wesson um, says survival set. I think that... One of these is a knife for hunt or a saw for hunting, something like that. So those usually sell anything with that Smith and Wesson company brand on it usually sells really well. And then some costume jewelry. You never know when you need some costume jewelry. And over here is a PlayStation 3 that looks like it has four games. Uh, I've never sold perfume before. There's a lot of rules when you ship these kinds of things. They have to go ground. They can't go in the air. And so you're limited to, you know, the continental United States and Mexico and Canada to ship these things. So they all have to travel by ground. Um, so this is some vintage uh, Mary Kay uh, perfumes. Uh, this one is uh, called uh, Ballara Midnight. And then... I have another one here that is called High Intensity. It's two and a half ounces. And this one's called Cityscape. These are all discontinued perfumes, I believe, or they're just what they're called new old stock. Um, you know, they're, they're, they've never been used or anything, but they're just probably pretty old. <laughs> Here's a Roomba 618. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to sell this. I may just part it out for the different parts that are in there. Here's a, it says that these are brown um, 501 jeans, but they look kind of yellow or gold to me. So uh, it could, just could be the lighting there or something like that. But either way, 501 uh, straight leg, 
with the uh, buttons uh, fly. They they usually are you know the fifty dollars or so for them, and especially since they're new. And here's a Detroit uh, Tigers uh, zip front jacket and some leather ski gloves. This particular brand is a K2, very good brand, and I. I did really well getting some comics recently. Uh, there's two groups of comics. There's this one, including the A-Team, and that. I'm not really sure what the collectability of some of these are. I did look up these, and some of these are going for quite a bit of money. You know, $30 or $40 uh, for some of them. That's what they've sold for. I don't look at what people list them for, because you can list for them for any price you want. It doesn't have to, you know, but what they sold for, that's what's important. So some of these sold for quite a bit of money, and so it's worth getting them. Even if I just sell one of them on there, I'll still make a profit and, and you know, take a loss on the rest, I guess. And then here's a uh, Gerson uh, gun case. I don't normally like to sell gun stuff because I don't know anything about them, but uh, there's one case in there. I figure that's pretty harmless. And uh, I do really well with these rigid tools. Uh, it's a very good brand. Uh, the the chargers sell really well, and right now there's no bids on it, so it'd be five dollars. I suspect other people will probably bid on it though. It's a it's a nice one, and here's a, a digital meter uh, with clamp. Uh, this can probably sell in the forty dollar range. It's a good brand. It's a Sperry. I I'm not really sure what the big obsession is with vices, but. This one is a vintage vice with a swivel swivel uh, base on it. It see it's all rusty, but sometimes people buy them to restore them, and then they they resell them or do something with them. I'm not really sure what. I'm not going to be getting into the restoration business. You know, I've done a few myself, but I've not done a vice before. You I you know you need to likely a sandblaster and that kind of thing to get all the old rust off of there. Or you could do it by hand, but oof, that takes forever. Uh, here's a Disney. It says a limited edition uh, serograph. It's all framed and matted. Very nicely done. Uh, this can sell for, I don't know, around, I think I saw some for $80, $90. So that could be a good one right now. The next bid is 6 But remember, this auction ends in another day and a half. So these prices could go way up by then. Now, this I was kind of surprised that no one's bid on this. This is an EV uh, loudspeaker system with an amplifier built in. It's very nice uh, unit. It comes with a stand and all. It's ready to go. All you need is a micro microphone or, or plug your instruments in there, and, and you're ready to go. It's 1,000 watts. It could probably be uh, piggybacked with another speaker. You have two of them going on at the same time, if you like. Um, it's just a really... Uh, nice compact system uh, people use it for a whole variety of reasons I'm just trying to fi figure out a reason for me to hold on to it because if I can get it for a really low price it's certainly worth it uh, brand new these sell for around $500 so I'm hoping that the um, you know whatever I get it for that I'll still be able to sell it I, I mean used you know we're probably in the two to three hundred dollar range um, used so we will see how that goes as well I'm hoping this will go well. Hope it doesn't go beyond the five dollars. That would be really great. And then here's a Caravan uh, Canopy. Uh, it's a pretty good brand. It's got four sides on it, and uh, it's ready to go. Oh, it says, oh, oh, I just noticed that this aluminum pole is broken, so I may not be bidding. I think I'm going to take this off right now. It says replacement parts may be available online, so I'm not really sure if I want to uh, go with that. Ah. Uh, so aluminum pole is broken. I'm trying to figure what the aluminum pole is for. Uh, well, I'll, I will see. I'll look and see if I get the parts for it. It might be worth it then. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I thought you might be interested to see what's going uh, down at the auction this week. And then uh, I will pick up the items on Wednesday. And I'll have another video for you uh, next week once I kind of sort through everything. And I'll let you know exactly what I bought. Because sometimes I don't win the the auctions the prices just go too high and sometimes you just get them for being just the only person bidding on them it's really hard to say 
But anyway, thanks for watching. If you could please subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. It really helps me out. I'm trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers so I can start getting paid for these things. All right. Have a great day.